Matt, the guitar guy here. I'm here to show you some funky, funky stuff today. What I do find, in, in fact, in one of my lessons very recently, um, the guy uh, that I was teaching asked me, how do I play a funky guitar solo? And I got thinking, actually, how do you do a funky guitar solo? And so we started getting into it, and I've discovered some really cool things that I want to show you guys right away. So, right hand. A lot of people look at the left hand when we're doing anything with a guitar. Like if I'm showing you something, your, your tendency is to look at my left hand and go, oh, what's Mark doing with his left hand? It's so cool. And it's actually probably nothing going on with the left hand that's actually really interesting. It's the right hand that's really important. So the right hand is where we get our TikTok action. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you need to check out my videos. Maybe go to jamrama.com and get the, the real deal on that stuff. But the right hand TikToks continuously over and over. If you get an example of that, this sort of TikTok that I'm doing now, I'm doing a rhythm with the right hand and it's making things sound cool. And what I've discovered is if you have a really good right hand technique, you don't actually need to do much with the left hand. So if you're doing, let's say you're doing a funky A minor pentatonic scale shape, and the scale shape is the first scale shape that, you, that I teach, which is the first pentatonic shape and you're playing along to a jam track that's maybe in the key of A, then what I would do is just pick one note, maybe just the A note to start with. In this case, it's my third finger playing the fourth string on the seventh fret. And instead of um, like playing a funky like sort of a thing along to the backing track, it sounds a bit boring, doesn't it? But if you get your right hand tick-tocking and just pick that note out at different intervals, it sounds really cool, or different times. So what am I doing there that makes that sound so cool? Because straight away I bet you're looking at my left hand going, what's he doing with his left hand? It's with the right hand, I'm strumming all the strings and I'm muting all the strings I don't want to hear and then putting my finger down on the note to make that note happen when I want it to. I'll do it slowly. So my right hand, I'll just do the right hand now and I'll put the, my fingers over the strings to stop everything from ringing to get that chickety chickety sound. And I'm just with the right hand, I'm gonna go, uh, tucka 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 tucka. Can you hear the emphasis on the tucka tucka tucka, the strong beat? So I'm not going tucka 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 tucka. That's boring. That's where you start with it. I want it to go tucka 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 tucka. So you're doing a strong beat on the one. Okay. Now if you can do that consistently, you're almost there completely for funky strumming because that's pretty much all I'm doing. And you can hear my whole, feel my body moving with the groove. If you're playing with a drummer or the backing track with anything, it's going to sound amazing if you can lock in exactly to what's happening with that, with the drummer. And that right hand is where it's all from, the tickety tickety bits. So very, to start with, we've got that one note we want to play. What we're going to do is we're just going to add that on the one of every beat. So we're going to go duck it, 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 like this. Now it sounds rough. You'll hear all sorts of other notes happening that you might go, oh, it's a bit ugly. But in the context of the whole thing, it feels way cooler than just that's boring. Whereas now it's got some colour, some flavour, it's lived a life, it's had ups and downs, it's had its heart broken. Now it's got some emotion in it, whereas before it was just a boring note that's never experienced anything in life ever. Whereas now it's got some colour and it's got some expression, okay? Just like human beings, we're not all perfect. So it's nice to have that little bit of roughness in your playing sometimes. So that note being where it is now, we're doing it on the one. Now that's fine. Now we might want to make it go dun 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 dun. Now it's starting to get funky, and so we just place that within our strums. So I'm going down ups constantly. Down down down. There's a note on an up there. Then that's hard to do when you first try this. A note on the up and you're muting the strings can be trickier than doing a down stroke. You'll see what I mean when you try this. So. Now what I'm doing with the left hand is I'm relaxing my fingers, it's very subtle here, but then when I want the note, I just I put tension on the note, and then I relax the note when I don't want it to be on a note. So when I want the note to sound, I simply put my, push my finger down in that spot, but all the strings around it are still muted. And I'm, I'm hitting all the strings with my left hand, 
uh, right hand, sorry, for my strumming arm. There it is, I have a funny note on there. Get that out of the way. And I'm just releasing it when I don't want it. I can do that with any note. Hear how funky that sounds? So imagine doing that and you've got a groove. Bass guitar, guitarist doing that. You'll notice all that rhythm and percussiveness that comes out of my playing. So you got... Um, um, You can hear everything happening in the groove there. Now I do that even when there's a drummer playing because for some reason you just have this hypnotic uh, subliminal thing going on with the drummer and you lock in together. But to get it simple, just make sure the right hand, we take it back a step, is tick-tocking continuously, strumming all the strings, and you've got an accent happening in there. You might even just want to try doing it down and up stroke in there. So the accent is and then from there you can develop more funky things but you don't actually need to do much with the left hand to make your solos sound cool if you've just got awesome rhythm with your right hand it's amazing how little you need to do you don't need to be so flowery so that's probably a good place to start if you're wanting to get into some funky stuff. We're going to get more into this with different lessons because I think it's a really important thing to learn. Now if you really like my style of teaching and you really want to get hold of me, the best way to do that is to go to jamarama.com. All my lessons are on there. You can be a paid customer and actually get access to everything I teach and get more in depth on some things like how to hold a pick, um, different chord progressions, how to play them, how to play to a backing track, all those sorts of things that you don't get anywhere else. And if that's the case, I'd love to see you soon and we'll see you again for another lesson. Cheers.